She came for the 50th, um, was it y'all's 50th or 100 reunion? 150? And uh, she was determined to come. She's 90, and so she, we buried her last Sunday, but she had a good long life, and she taught Sunday school up to two or three weeks before she passed away, and her mom was as sharp as a tack, so I know all she's already pacing me up on that. <laughs> I don't think I got her genes in that one. <clears throat> So 
lot with prayers. We met a, a young family yesterday that is leaving next Saturday for the Philippines for three years. That's commitment, and they need our prayers. Amen. The Jimmy Goss family, and they really need our prayers. They have three children, and uh, they're, they're sold out to Jesus. Amen. Somebody got to go. Amen. Yeah, she said that they just had their last yard sale. They had sold everything but the, their few clothes and their personals. So, I mean, they got rid of everything, their van, everything. So... Even their cell phones, they couldn't have them until they got over there and got a different kind. So I wonder how many of us would really be willing to, it'd be hard to give up everything, take your three kids. But she said that her dad is very upset if she's taking the grandkids. And she says, we just have to do what God tells us, you know. That's right. So when you pray, remember them. They, they need that wall of prayer. <laughs> Just as evening sun was 
seeking in the golden west. Hang in between two things that crucified the Son of God. Mourn by the multitudes that placed on him a thorny crown. Love like this was never known. Jesus dying for his own, just as the sun went down. In Sanhedrin he was tried, had no use for him, they cried. By the mob he was crucified, just as the sun went down.
everybody here knows us. <laughs> We've been here, I think this is our third time. We always enjoyed coming to Gables Creek. And last time I came, I got I took my picture with my great with my great great grandmother. I'm named after Alice DeWeese. And uh, so anyway I got my picture and I didn't never get it. So I'm gonna have to come and get you to make me another one. <laughs> I'll probably give you the wrong email address. Just a little more. You about trip about done. Mm -hmm. And this is another song that the Lord gave. Sharon, her and her sisters is talking about um, prayer warriors. So um, <coughs> somebody's got to leave their children to me to pray. And uh, now that I'm a grandmother, best thing in the whole wide world, uh, I want to leave my grandchild. Somebody, you know, that I'm a prayer warrior. And uh, I know I had great parents that prayed for us. Well, we wouldn't be where we are today. And I want to be a prayer warrior for my family. Amen. And I think everybody here, we're here for that reason. That's what we want to be. Amen. Just listen to the word of this. Thank God they were praying. They were praying for me. They were old fashioned preachers and Sunday school teachers. Lifting my name, Mama and Daddy, and Grandma and Grandpa, doing the same. Precious song leaders and faithful church members, praying for me. And I shudder to think just where. And 